Hi guys, welcome back. It's Bareface me again. If you're new to my channel, my name's Anushka. Today we're going to be making a Biscoff cheesecake. Oh, oh my god, I can't wait to make this. Um, it's super easy apparently. I've got all my ingredients. I had to literally go to like three, four shops to find whipping cream because... I bought the ready-made one. I know some people will drag me for not making my own whipping cream. So I bought the actual liquid and we're going to whip it. So yeah, let's just jump straight into it. Right, so the ingredients are whipping cream, cream cheese, I use Philadelphia, unsalted butter, icing sugar. Uh, this is like the star. Amazing. This is Biscoff butter. It's, oh my god, I, the last jar I bought, we all finished it with a spoon. Very unhealthy, very addictive. <laughs> And then I, I got some of lo these actual lotus biscuits. So this is the actual lotus biscuit. I've taken most of this packet here and crumbled it. So this is going to be our base. I've melted the butter here. We're going to tip this into our crumb mixture. Okay, so now we're going to put most of our crumb mixture into this tin. You want to keep a little bit for decoration. I've put some baking paper in. And you just want to flatten it. Oh, that looks so yum already. Is your mouth boring? <laughs> Just pushing the crust down. Don't need. Okay, make sure you get all the edges with a spoon. It's supposed to look something like this. Okay, I'm putting ice in a bowl to make our whipped cream. Because it starts off with liquid you want it to be really cold so it can like become it will like create soft peaks if it's warm then it'll just be all like droopy and stuff okay so i'm going to measure 237 ml of whipping cream 237. Put it in our chilled bowl. It is quite cold now. But then I'm gonna whisk this till it gets soft peaks. Now we want 260 grams of, mind the makeup in the background, can you see it? Yeah. We want 260 grams of Biscoff spread. Then 75 grams of icing sugar. In a bowl, we're gonna put our icing sugar, three, I think it's 350 grams of cream cheese and our lotus, this got butter. Okay, so now our oh, whipped cream curdled a little bit because I basically left my brother just whipping away whilst I was measuring the other stuff. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> so we're just gonna do with what we got. It's not that much curdled. I mean, we've gone past the peaks. Okay. 
Okay, so now you want to fold this in and not get rid of too much of the air from the whipped cream. My arm hurts already. That's so good. I know. What the hell? And it actually has that taste of a cheesecake, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, can you see how this is like keeping its structure? Like, that's how you want it to be. I mean, I don't know if I was meant to whisk the whipped cream that much, but it seems to be working. Just make sure your mixture is well mixed. I know, Sky, you want some. From her. Look at her paw. Okay, oh, she got some on her paw. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's like a baby. <laughs> okay, so now you want to put your cream cheese onto your base. Isn't this so satisfying? I feel like that's why we're both quiet. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna freeze this quickly before we put our Biscoff spread on top. I've melted some Biscoff. This can be the fun part, but also the stressful part. It's like, this is my favorite bit to watch when I'm watching baking videos. It's because I'm not doing it. Then the rest just goes on the top. A spoon. really thin layer <gasps> oh my god how did i not catch that on camera <gasps> god i'm stupid holy oh. crap i should have just pointed that we the were gonna die <laughs> we were gonna die wait i've never seen the microwave glow blue what the hell there is metal in there tiniest amount oh my god wait i should have just filmed that what the hell i was like so oh with my life flash is there like stuff on my face <laughs> oh, my hand's shaking from that Right, guys i'm now going to put this in the fridge or a bit in the freezer as well to freeze because it's like drooping in some bits and then we're going to try it later on this is what it's looking like guys it looks so young but i'm being impatient i did put it in the freezer for a bit but it's so hard to cut a piece out but it looks so yum
This is my cheesecake. I mean, it needs to be in the fridge longer, but I'm gonna give it a quick taste test. My camera ran out of battery, so I'm filming on my phone. I actually cannot believe I've made this. Like, the base is like, because I didn't bake it, it's a bit chewy. And like, the cream cheese filling is amazing. Guys, this was so easy to make and it's so yum. If you love Biscoff or Speculos, you need to try this. It's so yum. I literally can eat that whole thing right now, but everyone's going to demolish it. It's going to be gone by this evening. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what I should make next in the comments below. I had a lot of fun doing this. It's quick and easy, what I like basically, and it's so yum. Definitely not healthy, but it's so, so yum. It's definitely a treat. Make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Links are in the info box. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.